everyone. This is Kristen Hilty from Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to play hamster golf. This is a fun way to have your kids work on their measurement skills. This can be used for all grade levels from kindergarten through fifth grade. The way this works, you're going to set up a hamster golf course. A hamster golf course looks like this. You're going to create nine different holes. I use construction paper to make mine. I like to use the darker green to represent the hole, and then I use a lighter shade of green to represent the green. Now, my family told me they know I'm not very artistic. Uh, they said I needed to have some bunkers and some lakes on here. If you want to be creative and add sand traps and add lakes, feel free to be my guest. You can make yours as creative as you wish. You can make them as short or as long, which I'll talk about throughout this video as well, different ways you can adjust for that. But what I like to do is um, use my white construction paper to represent my tee box, and then I draw within there, I outline it in black, where you would be teeing off from. Then up here on the green, you're gonna have a black dot and that represents the hole. Now sitting over the hole, you'll see my flag. And on my flag, we use this cute little hamster playing golf. I use a small solo cup. They do make solo cups in different colors other than red. Um, and then I take a toothpick and that toothpick goes through the center. And then these are just flags that I got from Amazon that I ordered and that just fits right over the hole. So you would set up all nine of your golf holes that you create and then your kids would have this recording sheet which we have attached to this video. You'll see the directions are at the top. I have room for my nine different golf holes and what your students are going to do is for each hole they are going to estimate how far is it from the tee box to the hole. So everybody has to write down their estimate. Now, you can have your kindergarten and first graders, they can be using non-standard units of measure. So you can give them linking cubes, you can give them counters that they would lay out, you could give them paper clips, um, you could print off golf ball pictures and you could cut out those golf ball pictures and they could measure how many golf balls it is from the tee box to the actual hole itself. First they would estimate, estimate and then they're going to lay the, that non-standard unit of measurement out. For our older kids in second grade through fifth grade, we are actually going to use our measuring tools. So depending upon how big your golf holes are will depend upon which tool they are actually going to use. So for mine here, you'll see that I have my ruler where I have my inches and I have my centimeters. Depending upon grade level, you can have them measure to the nearest inch, to the nearest half inch, to the nearest quarter inch, um, or to the nearest centimeter. So the way this would work, if this was my um, number one hole, I would come up to this hole and I would have to predict, how far do I think it is from here to here? And um, you know what, I think that might be about 10 inches. So on my recording sheet and under my estimate, I would record 10 inches. Now, once everybody has their estimate recorded, as a group, we're gonna remove our flag and we are going to put our ruler at the top of that tee box and we're gonna measure to that um, hole and we can see that it is nine inches. So everybody on their recording sheet would put that the actual distance is nine inches. Now we have to do our difference. With your upper grade students, when we get to fifth and sixth grade, uh, they are going to keep with always doing estimate minus actual. So that way they're actually working on positive and negative here. With our younger age students, you're gonna have them take whichever was their greater number and then subtract their smaller number to come up with their difference so that we can keep it all in the positive for them. So I had my estimate was 10, my actual 10 inches, my actual was nine inches. So my difference, my score on that hole was a one. Um, at the end, after they go through and play all nine holes, then they're gonna come up with their course score. So to get calculate their score, course score, they're going to add all of their differences from the nine holes to come up with their score here. You wanna be the person who has the lowest course score to actually win the game. 
For fun, have them find the distance of the course. Have them take all of their actual amounts and have them add all of that together to see how long the golf course actually was. This here is one example of a hole. You'll see sometimes I like students to actually do two steps. So sometimes I'll put an X somewhere on the course and that means this is your first shot and this is your second shot. You could even put a third shot on there if you wished as well. So maybe they have to make a putt over here um, and then we have to find out what that distance is. So that's completely up to you how many different shots you want your kids to be able to calculate in there. Sometimes I can do something that looks like this. For my upper grade kids, maybe I want them to predict, to think of this as an actual golf hole. And if I tell them, that, um, I want them to think, if this is 170 yards long, then what would this be in scale? Each inch equals what? And have them do the math to calculate that out. Or I could make it a little bit easier and I could do something like each inch equals three yards or each half inch equals 10 yards. Five centimeters equals 40 meters. So I can work with a scale within this golf course as well. You can also make larger golf holes that maybe go the length of your classroom, or you can put them down the hallway. Or if you're doing this at your house while we're all working on e-learning, you can create larger ones that you could put um, in different areas of your house. We've used this at math family nights, and we had golf courses set up inside of a teacher's classroom, and families had to go around and they had to um, play hamster golf as a family. We found that this is always a fan favorite, whether we're doing it with families or whether we're doing it as a lesson in the classroom, or if this is something that you are going to do at home with your families. Have fun with it, be creative. We gave you um, the link or the, a page with all of the hamsters playing golf for you. Again, I just put those on those small little solo cups, put a toothpick in there, make that your golf hole and your kids are going to love practicing measurement.